Hey everybody, it's Lily and I hope that you are doing well. Today we are going to get into some fragrances and these fragrances are fragrances that many of the companies, many of the brands themselves, I've never even touched. So this is very new to me. So if you're interested to see what fragrances I've picked up from brands I've never seen before for the most part, please stick around. There's so much about me more than the eye can see But I'm so glad to be no one to me now throughout this channel, you're gonna see a few things, beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and fragrances. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to comment down below. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. That really pushes my videos through. Also, make sure that you subscribe and please hit that bell so that you can be notified anytime I have an upload, okay? Now, on to the video. I went on LuckyScent.com. If you've ever been on this website, you're probably familiar with a lot of the brands that they have, a lot of niche brands that Lucky Scent has. But what I like is that you can get um, the samples from them. And if, if there's any fragrance that you want to try, you know that try before you buy it. Listen, I am not spending money that I don't have or spending money that I don't need to spend on a full bottle of a fragrance where I'm just saying I might not like it at all. Um, sometimes I look at the notes in some of them and I just, you know, I want to try it before I purchase maybe a full bottle. Okay. Full bottles of perfume are not cheap, right? So I want to make sure that I'm not wasting any money. I want to make sure that I'm, that I'm, uh, making some good choices, some lasting fragrances. I don't, I don't want to just keep spending on a full bottle and then I don't like it at all. Okay. So that's why I went to lucky scent, but I love the fact that they do sell the, uh, small sizes, the sample sizes. And then if you want to get the full bottle, you can do that as well. Okay. So I'm getting into some of these niche brands that maybe I've never heard of. Um, some of them, I may have something else in, uh, another fragrance in, you know, or something like that. So this should be pretty fun. Let me get to the website. If you see me looking down often is because I want to make sure that I'm talking about these brands the right way or talking about really the companies and the fragrance th itself. Okay. So let's look, get into it. Okay, so the first fragrance that I have is, I think it's by Naso Mato. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's called Narcotic V. Now with this one, it's uh, it's actually, a, it's Narcotic V. And I think the V stands for Venus. And it is a perfume extract. And it is very, very feminine. I did try it on the other day and it lasted for a really long time. Talk about a very, very floral type scent. Now, what I like about this one is it just lasted so long. If you like tuberose, if you like Lily of the Valley or really Lily, if you like spices, if you like Jasmine, then you're going to love this one. This is Narcotic V. Now, all of my fragrances, let me say this too, all of my fragrances will be small like this. I'm trying my best not to get them on my finger or anything like that, but, but here it is. I got a little bit on me. But um, with this one, it is really, really floral. If you don't like floral scents, don't pick up this one. But if you do like floral scents that are not, um, I don't get kiddish. I don't get... Um, that kind of fragrance from it. But what I do get is, is mature. I get floral, um, really, really, really good. You could tell that with this one now that the bottle, I believe costs like $185. Um, so it's not really expensive, but it is one of those fragrances that could be signature worthy. If you like floral scents, okay, this, you can wear this one all around. I know that all year round. I know that sounds weird, even though it is a floral scent, but it's that heavy. It's got some weight to it. I think the Lily helps that really it's the Jasmine and the um, spices that really help it to be um, more well-rounded, but it is, it is a floral scent, straight up flowers. If you like that tuberose, you will actually, you will absolutely love this one. So this is um, Narcotic V. Okay, this next one, I don't want to butcher the name, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the screen. But this one is Faces of Francis. I absolutely love this fragrance. If you love um, fragrances that are uh, that have the saffron at the top, there are not a lot of fragrances. I don't, I don't really have that many that have saffron at the top note as one of the top notes. 
I really, really like this. It is, it is uh, pistachio in there. There's driftwood, there's juniper, there is uh, oud, of course, ambergris, there, vetiver. There are so many um, notes in here and it's really, really good. This is Faces of Francis. Um, I like this one because it's another one of those fragrances that are somewhat um, moderate and projection uh kind of long lasting you're gonna definitely get six hours out of this one faces of francis is really a go if you're looking for something that would be nice for a transition faces of francis is perfect for like right now because you have this is this is the end of september so you've got september going into october really the beginning of fall but it's still kind of hot a little bit um this one will go over well faces of francis you need to try it this next one is called, this is by Steph, uh, Stephane uh, Humbert Lucas, all right? And it just has 777 on the end of it. And the name of it is Pink Boa. Because I looked at the, the notes, I thought I was going to love it, all right? Top notes you've got, um, let me look. If you've got black currant, bergamot, and rosemary, mid notes you have this vodka, there's the raspberry and basil, and the base notes you have musk and sandalwood. Because I saw vodka, because I saw raspberry, because I saw bergamot and, and black currant and rosemary, because I saw all of those, I was just thinking that I was going to absolutely love this. I thought that it would give me something fruity uh, and boozy and all of that, but honestly, I'm getting so much sandalwood and musk. It has uh, more of a green, green minty type fragrance to it. Uh, the notes to me just don't really, I don't know. You're going to have to try this one. I'm glad that I didn't buy the full bottle because I would have been so disappointed. Pink Boa, I was looking at the bottle and I thought the bottle was really, really cute. Um, but I just don't like this one. So the next fragrance I have is Escapade Gourmand and it's by My Son Mataha. Um, this one is a yes, 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 yes. It reminds me almost of that, um, Guerlain, uh, Spirituis double, double Venine. These next two, um, are also from some companies that I've never used before. This is by Fragrance Dubois and I actually have two from Fragrance Dubois and I like, I like this brand. I've, I've heard about this brand so many times. So I said, let me just go ahead and try it in my, in my sample size first. And then I'll decide on whether or not I need the, the big one. Right? Okay. So the first one that I tried and I just went on and put it on my skin. The first one is this Oud Orange Intense. Oud Orange Intense. With this one, I absolutely hate it. I do not like it even a little bit. It kind of makes my mouth water, but not in a good way. It's just, I don't like it. It's, it's very grandma-like to me. It's, in other words, it's very mature, but it's too mature for me, okay? It has uh, top notes are like these fruity notes with, with uh, coconut. And you would think that the coconut I would like because I do have some coconut oils and stuff like that, but I just do not like this. There is vanilla in the, in the middle and the, the mid uh, notes. There's like this bourbon vanilla uh, at the base. You've got vanilla again. There's vetiver in there. I think there's oud, of course, uh, maybe not vetiver, but musk. Um, and it's just a fragrance that I just do not care for at all. So I'm glad uh, uh, that I did not purchase these. If you know anything about Fragrance Dubois, they are not cheap. They're really on the higher end. So I'm definitely glad that I got this, um, this sample size. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is not, um, one that I'm going to be reaching for at all. I just do not like it. Um, so I won't be getting it at all. That's the Oud Orange Intense. But on the other hand though, the one that I really do like by Fragrance Dubois is Cavort. The Cavort fragrance is really, really nice. I got to get the notes for you because this one is one that I'm like, okay, I really like this one. Cavort is, of course, just like the, the other one, they pretty much have a straight um, parfums, okay? And so they are very, very strong. They are there. They are going to last for a long time. They're going to perform well on the skin. That's why I just went on and put it on, okay? Now, here's one that I like. Now, this is my second fragrance. I think I talked about another one that has that saffron at the top. I don't have a lot of fragrances like that, but when I... 
put on Cavort, I could immediately smell the fragrance, the, the saffron at the top. You've got saffron there. You've got cinnamon, which I really, really like. You've got geranium. You've got Davana. Mid notes, you have rose, ylang ylang, jasmine, orange blossom, base notes, uh, sandalwood. There's that in that incense there's patchouli in there this one is really really good i don't know what they were thinking with that orange thing but this one is really really good cavort is not a waste of money it is really good so i'm definitely going to get the big bottle if they have one that's kind of the mid-sized bottle i definitely will get that um but i haven't ever held a a, a fragrance de bois uh, fragrance in my hand. So I don't know if they come in different sizes or what. So I'm definitely going to look, um, look around. I'm going to shop around a little bit so that I can get the biggest bang for my buck. I may, uh, shop on German Juma shops and hopefully I'll be able to get one on there. But this one cavort. Yes, absolutely. This is a beautiful, beautiful date now night scent. This is this is not one of those scents that you smell everywhere. Like a lot of people are wearing them. Even though you have um, MFK Baccarat Rouge 540, it's like a lot of people are wearing it. This one is not one of those. This one I've heard of a lot of times, but but I but smelling it, it's it's not something that I smell on people often. I really like Cavort. I would I would definitely go for that one. I had to take just a few fragrances off of my shelf for a moment just to uh, kind of try these out with what I already have. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because the next two uh, brands, the next two companies that I'm using, I already have uh, in my collection, the next two niche brands I have, but I don't have these particular um, fragrances. So uh, perfumes, the Marley, if you like perfumes, Marley, then you are already, I'm sure familiar with Delina. I know that you're probably familiar with Delina exclusive. And I also have this Atelia. If I could um, sell this one, I definitely would. Atelia, it will give you um, now that it has now that it has had the chance to sit and all of that. It's just not one that I pull for, for. And so I wish that I would have tried it before I purchased it. But the sale was so good. So I don't feel bad about purchasing it. But I probably would have uh, got picked something else um, if I knew that I wasn't going to like it for the long haul. Now, when it comes to Delina, Delina Exclusive, I absolutely love both of these. I think that these are very, very nice to me. They are different. And so when I wear certain fragrances, when I wear, uh -oh, when I wear certain, um, certain body washes, use certain body washes, certain lotions and things like that. I'll reach for these interchangeably. Like if I was using the skin potion, when you get a chance, I want you to watch my skin potion video. Um, I talk a lot about Delina versus Delina exclusive. Um, I use, uh, the skin potion, I believe it's Karma Sutra. And I think to me, it smells almost exactly like this Delina exclusive. Um, so if you're looking for a fragrance that is floral, that really smells good, that is very distinctive. Um, I've also, I mentioned Baccarat, but I like to layer Baccarat with Delina. For some reason, it just smells really good when they're layered. Um, and so I really am starting to like this brand. Now I got two additional, scents from perfumes marley the first one that i got is oriana now let me tell you something youtube will get you to purchase some stuff okay youtube will do it if you watch these youtube videos including mine if you watch these youtube videos then you are going to want to purchase some fragrances okay myself included everybody was talking about Oriana and I was I was looking at how pretty it was. I just like the bottle. Maybe it's just me. I think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. It's that hot pink. It looks just like your Delina bottles and all of that. It looks just like the regular bottles that they have for women. But that hot pink, opaque type bottle is just so pretty to me. But when I started smelling Oriana, I immediately got um the Killian Love Don't Be Shy vibes because of that uh, marshmallow note. I don't even have to look at the notes. I haven't even pulled up the notes. Let me do that first. But uh, with that Oriana, you cannot tell me that there's not uh, that, that they don't you don't have the um, the uh, marshmallow notes and all of that in it. Let's see. Let's see if my nose is starting to 
starting to grow a little bit. All right. So there's, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful, sweet, uh, sweet fragrance. Um, I do like that. There's kind of like a little bit of citrus I could smell in there. Um, and things like that, but let's look at it. All right. So let the top notes you have Mandarin orange, you've got bergamot, you've got grapefruit. Okay. Mid notes, you have orange blossom. There's raspberry, black currant. I like black currant. I like raspberry. Um, and then those citrus notes, that, that was what I was talking about. So that must be the Mandarin orange. Here's the base notes, whipped cream, marshmallow, musk, and then there's this ambrette. It's a musk mellow type uh, scent, I guess. Um, but with all of those put together, it's giving me straight up Killian love. Don't be shy. If you have, I'm going to be honest. I have like, um, um, you know, when, when love don't be shy, when it really, really got popular, um, they had, it had like this, um, this, set where you could get like a, a, a travel size and then the other little things if you didn't want to buy the full bottle. And so that's what I have. I only have just a little bit left. Um, so I'll probably purchase Ariana because I think that it would go nice with my collection. It'll really look good next to all these. Um, so I'll probably get it. But if I had a big bottle of love, don't be shy. If I had the real regular size bottle and then I was smelling Ariana, I wouldn't buy the two. It's just my opinion. You don't need both of them. So pick one. If you have the Killian Love Don't Be Shy, then you're good. If you have the Oriana, don't get the Love Don't Be Shy. If you have both of them, put your nose on, and I'm talking about the Love Don't Be Shy, the, the original one, because I know that there are so many flankers now. Uh, lately, they've come out with maybe two or three. There's like France one, a French one, and then there's something else um, for this year. I mean, just so many different ones. My suggestion is get your nose on the Ariana if you don't have it already. And let me know down in the comments what you think uh, about these two that I'm kind of putting together. Last but not least, with this Parfums de Marley, everybody has been talking about the new fragrance, Valaya. This is absolutely beautiful. The Valaya fragrance is really nice. It's really soft. It is not overpowering. It's not overbearing. It's not giving too much. This one is one of those close to you type scents. This is not, this does not remind me of Delina Exclusive. For me, Delina Exclusive, you can smell me. I remember um, going in my school and signing in in the front office and somebody came to me and said, you must have just signed in right? Because they could smell me after I left the room and they knew oh, that was, that was me who was in the office. Okay. They came all the way around to my classroom and was like, I know you just left from signing in, right? Because it had such a potent lasting effect in the room after I left. Valaya to me is not like that. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Valaya to me is not like that. It is uh, more close to you. It's sweet. It is, um, it's really nice. It has this aldehyde there at the top. Um, also it has white peach. It has, give me one second. It has a uh, bergamot. There is mandarin orange. You've got orange blossom, uh, lily of the valley, veter ver there are so many notes in here. There's musk, musk and broxen. Um, there's vanilla. There's this woody, a little bit of woods in there. There are so many, so many different different notes in here, but it really just comes together. You can smell the woody. You can smell the, 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 um, the citrus in this one. You can smell the orange blossom, the floral type feel of it. This one is a go. This one is very nice. I would say that this is signature scent worthy. It's very nice. I wouldn't wear it as much in the fall. It doesn't give fall winter, but it can give summer transition and into fall just a little bit, but I would have to definitely get something just a little bit stronger, uh, more earthy, maybe more woody. If I wanted to wear this more into the fall. So this is not a fragrance that I'll be reaching for, or that I'll be trying to get in this season. Uh, same thing with Oriana. I can wait until it's nice and warm outside till maybe the spring. If I get it in the spring, it'll be absolutely beautiful. The only reason why I say Oriana would be 
nice uh, kind of toward the fall is because of the marshmallows. And if you wanted to have maybe marshmallow and, and put a little bit more uh, vanilla with it, that would be nice um, or something like that. But for those two, I don't think that I'll be reaching for them or trying to even purchase them in this season. It'll have to be another time. But what's really crazy is when you have scents like that, when you have fragrances like that, that's when a lot of times these websites will go ahead and put fragrances like that on sale. So I may purchase it, but I may not wear it. So we'll see if it's on sale. I get, I'll get it. If it's not on sale, it'll be stay, it'll be sitting right there until the right season um, to wear it. And that's just me. I feel like you can wear your fragrances whenever. I'm just saying that for me, I probably won't uh, pick it up. If I'm looking for something more gourmand I, uh, um, in the fall, I'll probably do that. But I probably won't pick those type fragrances uh, for the fall months coming up. OK, let me just say this. I am becoming a Nishan A fan. The only problem is the ones that I have purchased, the Nishan A, um, some of them that I have purchased have been so masculine to where I don't really like wearing them for me unless I have layered it with something. Okay. So for example, Ani, I like Ani. I really like Nishan A Ani. I love it. When I smell it, I'm just like, oh, this is so good. It smells amazing on my husband, but it smells like I'm a straight up dude when I put it on me. It's so masculine. And I know that they say that it's unisex. A lot of people will say that it smells good on them. And I get jealous every time I see somebody saying that it smells good on them because it does not smell like that on me unless I put, I've even put um, Kaoli Vanilla 28. I've put other stuff with it. I have tried to put something floral with it. It just smells like it's, it's, for a man when I wear it. So when my husband wears it, I get all jealous and everybody talks about how good it smells on them. It makes them smell rich and all of that kind of stuff. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't do it for me. Okay. But it's really good. So I don't feel like I wasted my money because my husband uses it. And so that's cool. There's a dent in it. The dent is denting. So I'm okay with that. Um, this is one of those type fragrances where you, you, you know, you can definitely wear it year round, but it's really, really good because it has that vanilla in there and so what I did was I purchased we're not talking about the one I already have of course we're gonna go in and talk about this X there's this this um, uh, Nishane has put out X I believe that this may be an anniversary for the company or something so all the ones that I have I got them in X okay so this one is Ani X and this one I can appreciate a little bit more it's a little now not a lot it's a little bit more unisex than the Ani. The, the uh, Ani X I will purchase uh, for me because I think that it'll go over just a little bit better than the other one. They both are amazing. This one is amazing. Yes, it is. But it's just a little bit more feminine. Does it get feminine right off where, you know, if you pick it up, you're saying this is for a woman? Absolutely not but it does smell just a little bit more uh, feminine. Let me, let me explain why. You've got um, lemon, bergamot, cardamom, uh, ginger, melon, pink pepper, and then it says there, there's some water notes in there. Also, you have mid notes, you have green apple, there's black currant, there it is again, patchouli, sage, lavender, and rose. Those mid notes are all, all uh, uh, t type feminine notes, just a little bit to me. I don't know. To me, it's, it smells a little bit more feminine. And then base notes, you've got vanilla, sandalwood, white musk, cashmere, wood, uh, cedar, and ambergris. I love this fragrance. If you have them both, you do not have the same thing. I'm going to say that about the other ones as well. If you have both of these, you don't have the same fragrance. The, the Ani stands on its own and smells very good. And it's my understanding. I haven't really looked, but it's my understanding. They do have pretty much the same notes. There may be a little something here and a little something there, but it's the way that they mixed it down or that all the fragrance came together. It's, it's just different. It's, it's different. The X is different. The X is different from the regular one. They both have um, great sillage. They both go over well. They both smell great. But I'm definitely going to be pulling for that um, that Nishane Ani X. I like that one better for my skin. It just works a little bit better than the Ani um, because I think it will kind of give it just a little 
little bit more of a feminine vibe than the Ani does. Okay, okay, okay. The same thing for these. These are really, really good. I've even tried, it's the Hasi vibe. I got this one um, in like that mid-size. That was kind of the mid-size I was telling you about. This one is 1.7 fluid ounces and uh, the Ani is 3.4. Um, so I got this one in the mid one. It smells so good. And when my husband wears it, it works for him. I can't believe that. I did not buy these for him. I bought them for me, but they smell so good on him. So, you know, I'm not wasting any product. I'm not wasting any juice, but I wish I would have tried them. Um, but if I would have uh, tried them, I probably would not have purchased them for myself. And then I would be missing out on the X that's coming out. So it wasn't a waste of money because that Hasi Vot X is hidden. Let me tell you something. It is really good. This one is a little bit sweeter than the Hasi Vot, the regular one. What I like about this one is that it gives off more feminine vibes. But if a man wears it, it's the same thing for Ani. If a man wears it, it's not going to be like, oh, he's wearing a woman's perfume. No, it's, it's still kind of masculine, but not masculine enough for me to say, I'm just going to put it down. You know what I mean? Um, you've got pineapple, there's bergamot, peach pink pepper, there's lime in there, there's orange blossom, there's jasmine, Haitian vetiver, uh, cedar, and patchouli. This one is really good. Right off the top, you can smell the pineapple. You can smell the pineapple in the uh, regular Hasavat as well. Um, you, can, you can really smell that pink pepper, the lime in there, the cedar, patchouli, all of it. It's so good. I'm definitely going to get that one. I'm not getting it in the half bottle. I want it in the full bottle. Um, that is Hasivai X. Okay. I'm believing that I'm beginning to believe that they did this on purpose. So with the hundred silent ways, Nishane, the regular one, Mandarin, tuberose, uh, there's peach, white Jasmine, gardenia, vanilla, sandalwood, vetiver that's what's in hundred silent ways when i smell this it is totally feminine but when i smell x x is totally unisex yep it's totally unisex it's like she's she, I, don't, I don't know if the if the perfumer is trying to maybe trying to streamline or just bring it all to the middle maybe that's what's going on out of these three i don't i don't know i haven't really read on them or anything i'm just kind of giving you my first try my first sniff um but it seems like they're really kind of coming to the middle uh for me ani and hasiva are so far as far as masculine to where i need something to push me over into the middle so that i can wear them and enjoy them the uh the uh, hundred silent ways is so feminine to where it's almost like the x is pushed over to the middle so that a a man could enjoy them. And I'm not saying that if you, if you are a man, you can't wear a feminine type fragrance that I'm called a feminine. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that the scent just really, it, they're all, they don't, whatever gender you want to wear, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is for me and my nose, what it gives off for me just seems like the, the X is more, uh, uh, is more masculine than the, uh, Nishane, um, a uh, hundred silent ways, hundred silent ways, I think is a feminine type fragrance, a uh, hundred silent ways. X I feel like is middle, middle of the road. It's really nice. Let me give you the notes. Peach. See, we, we already talked about these same notes. It's just like they're moved around. You've got peach, mandarin, orange, and tuberose at the top. Um, you've got iris, gardenia, heliotrope, and jasmine. You've got vanilla, leather, and then patchouli. So, so through all of this, what has been added is the heliotrope, which is still a flower. And then you've got leather put in here. There's some leather in there, some iris in there. Um, uh, and then of course, patchouli is in here too. So, I mean, there's, there's no patchouli here. Um, there's no vetiver in the, in the new one. Um, so the leather, I think kind of, kind of gives it some depth. I, I think, and I definitely will get it too, because that one is more of the middle of the road for me. It's not so floral to where I feel like I can only wear it maybe in the summer, in the spring. This is not a fragrance that I will pick up in the fall and the winter. 
it just doesn't give that off to me. As you can see, I really did like it. And I only bought the smaller one because I was thinking I may not like it, so I'm not going to go with it. But I can tell that it's absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see, I, I have used it. The dent is denting. However, for the season to come, I will not pick it up. Um, but that other one, you definitely can because that leather is, is really coming through. I hope you are not getting tired because I am having a ball. I have a few more fragrances um, to share with you from some companies uh, that I do have um, and, and that I do not have. OK, so I've got to um, really let me start with mm, I don't know. Let me start with this one. Raja. Many of you have heard of Raja Raja Parfums. And oh, my goodness, this one is called Asylum. Asylum, I like. The only thing is I don't like Asylum for me. When I looked at the price for Raja, uh, for Raja scents or perfumes or for the company, I was like, man, it's got to be for me something special. I mean, you know how you have some of those, um, who do I like? Tiziana Terenzi. You know how some of those, uh, those boxes will have lights on them and all that. Baby, I have to have all of that if I'm going to get a Raja fragrance. I'm sorry. I just have to. All right. So with this one, you have um, that there are a few different types or there are a few different kinds. So let me make sure that I'm looking at the right one. Um, I thought it was Asylum. It's not. It's just a Raja fragrance. And I hope I pronounced it right when I actually looked at <laughs> how it was written. Okay. Mm, this one is, it smells really good, but it is for men. It is clearly for men and I will not make the mistake of purchasing it for myself. Okay. So if I do get this one, it will definitely be, uh, for the man in my life. All right. So what we've got at the top and I'm actually on the website, it is, um, lemon, bergamot. Um, there's grapefruit, lime, lavender, thyme, and musk. There's the heart notes. You've got Lily of the Valley. There's this Rose de Mai. There's Jasmine de Grasse. There's Amber. Uh, no, not Amber. There's Apple and there's Black Currant. Okay. Then you have um, Pink Pepper. You've got Vetiver. There's so many. There's Lavender. There's Cedarwood, Juniper Berry, Benzoin, Musk, and then there's Vanilla. There's so many in the base. And it's like what they have on the website is they have some that are kind of bold. So those, I guess, would be the 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 heaviest or the the most uh, potent um, uh, notes in here. But this one is really really good. It's worth every penny. If you are, are purchasing this, uh, if you like those more masculine scents, if you like um, to have the grapefruit and the bergamot and the, all of that with the leather and, and uh, rose de mai and all of that, if you like that, then you're absolutely going to love that. Now, now Raja, Raja, let me tell you something. Raja must be that, fra that fragrance company. It must be that niche brand because when I look at the prices, I'm like, yeah, I'll holler at you later. But for something like this, I think it's very nice. It just doesn't give me what I was looking at before. When I looked at some of the prices, I'm not paying a thousand dollars. I'll never pay a thousand dollars for a fragrance. OK, I'm not talking about that one. I'm not talking about that one. But there are some that go to that level. And then there are some uh, more along these lines. It's a nice brand. Very, very nice. But I love fragrances. But I don't just want to get one. If I'm going to spend a thousand dollars, you better believe I'm going to have several bottles. OK, but uh, it's really nice if that's what what um, is that if that's something that you would be going for. Of course, I wouldn't purchase it for myself, but I'm sure that my husband may enjoy it. Um, so we'll have to see. But I do like it. It's very nice. OK, this is one of those fragrance companies um, that I was talking about that I, I have at least one or two. Um, I have Liquide Imagineer. This is Blanche Bet. Um, this is so good. It is lactonic. It is vanilla. It is gourmand. It is really, really good. It smells really, really good. And I absolutely love it. And so I decided, let me get the one that everybody was talking about. OK, so this one that I have. Yeah, this one that I have is Dom Rosa. Many of you have heard of it. Oh, yeah. 
Many of you have heard of Don Rosa and you can smell the bubbles in it. If you are familiar with wine type fragrances, champagne, there's champagne at the top, grapefruit, pear, uh, damask rose and carnation and incense. The bottom notes you have um, woody notes. There's uh, cedar, vetiver, guaiac wood. In that one, you can almost, as you smell it, you can almost taste the champagne, the fizz, the bubble. They, it's like they hit the nail on the head. I don't know how they did that, um, but someone, whoever the uh, perfumer was of that one, it's really more of a summer type fragrance, um, but whatever they did, they were actu actually able, excuse me, to just get that fragrance down. It's like down to a science that is that's amazing to me that they were able to do that. So this is definitely one that I will get. And I'm going to be honest, this will be one that I will reach for. I mean, when I started trying it, it was like I could almost taste the wine. I could taste that that evening type. Um, um, it's an evening type fragrance that that just goes over very well. Um, ooh, ooh, I hope I'm not hitting it with my sorry. Um, but it's really, really good. It is robust and, and the, the, I could just, oh, the fizz in there. I mean, it's just good. This is really, really good. The Dom Rosa, I really like. So if you get a chance, make sure that you get your nose on it. Let me know what you think. If you already have it, I want to know down in the comments. Okay. The Dom Rosa Melissimi, I believe it is. It's a flanker. It's one that has a different name to it. I will be throwing this after the, after the video. I will be throwing this in the trash or my daughter, she's seven, or my daughter will go ahead and use it up. She's She'll love that. Um, but this one, I do not care for at all. I smell the pear right off. This one is just a little bit different. It does have the champagne at the top, um, but there's also pear in there. Yes, and pomelo. Pomelo looks kind of like a lemon slash pear. Um, then you have, of course, the damask rose. There's... Um, there's cloves in there, woody nose, guaiac wood, cedar, there's vetiver. It's okay, but that pear, and maybe it's the pomelo, that throws me off. I do not like it at all. Don Rosa, I'm definitely getting a bottle. Um, this Blanche Bet, as you can see, I love it. I really like it. That dent is denting in there. This is one of those type fragrances that I will, I, I will, um, uh, layer a little bit, but this one comes out. I overspray on this one and I smell good all day. I've heard from some people say just like milk will, will sour on you or whatever. They say that it sours on them. I don't know what they have going on in their body. They might need to drink some more water or something. I don't know, but I'm telling you this smells good on me. It works. It is very, very nice. And that Dom Rosa, I think that it will be, be very nice as well. Now with this one, I get eight hours period. I mean, even plus eight hours plus, especially if I start spraying it in my clothes, it is phenomenal. And as you can see, the juice is starting to yellow a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit darker, but it does not go in my clothes. Like you're not going to see, you know, um, it's not going to, uh, uh, stain your clothes or anything. So it's really nice. I'm not really sure about the Dom Rosa. I know it comes in like a pink, pinkish reddish um uh, bottle but as you can see the juice is clear so i'll definitely be getting that one i really like that one that will be more of a um a date night scent or something like that they both smell really good the other one eh, not so much because of that pear it just really throws me off but i do really like the dom rosa now see this is one thing that kind of confuses me because now we're in bdk it's called passe soir and this one is different because I just said in that last fragrance, I don't like the pear, but in this one, I'm cool with it. It works for me. Okay. So this one is, you have pear at the top, you have black pepper, ginger, and mandarin. Middle notes, you have uh, Moroccan uh, jasmine, there's quince. It's a funny little round um, um, type citrus type fruit <laughs> and then you have orange blossom base notes you have cashmere you have this uh singaporean patchouli and then there's amber wood in this one 
this BDK, it came out, they came out with an X-ray uh, version and I would probably get that too. This one is really nice. It's a $200 bottle. Even if you're on So Avant-Garde, you can get it $200. Of course, um, there are so many, so many discounts you can get with that. It's not super expensive, uh, but I really like it. The, the pear, I like the, the citrus there. I like, I like that it is sweet. It is more of a feminine fragrance to me. Um, but it's very nice, long lasting. I tried a little bit of it, wore it for a little, for a few hours. And I was like, wow, it's still there. It smells so good. So I would say definitely with these fragrances, when you see, uh, sometimes when I see a, a note, I'm like, okay, I'm turned off completely before I even try it. If I, if I'm scrolling and I see this one come across my timeline or somebody's talking about it and then I see pear, I might just go the other way. That's why I love trying the fragrances out before you buy, because I could have missed out on a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I would have been upset because this one is something that this is full bottle worthy. I'll definitely uh, purchase this one, but it is more of a spring type summer type fragrance. I'm not sure about the X straight version, uh, but this one I would definitely wear in the springtime. This is my first time. Oh, this is my first time trying Goldfield and Banks. Uh, Goldfield and Banks Sunset Hour. That is exactly what it smells like. You know how um, this reminds me of replica. You know how those replica fragrances can talk about or the, the title will smell like something that, you know, if I think I have at the fireplace or something like that, the fireplace, something about the fireplace. And it smells like you are literally sitting in front of a fireplace or it may be rainy days. I think I have lazy Sunday morning. I have um, some other fragrances from replica and it smells exactly like that. Um, this one is the exact same thing to me. This is Goldfield and Banks. This is a, this is our perfume though. This is a, a, a beautiful perfume is beautiful fragrance. Um, and it lasts, it lasts, it lasts. Let me give you the notes. You have this desert peach. There is raspberry, cashmere wood, sandalwood, mandarin, orange, pink pepper, jasmine, sandback, benzoin, and ginger. I could wear this leading up to the fall. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I really like this. It does give you good shampoo vibes, you know, um, not the kind of shampoo that I use, but if I was using a herbal essence or something like that, it gives me a little bit of that. I do smell a little bit of that beachy type type fragrance because of the sweetness too. I think that's what it is. Sweetness and the wood. But um, in this, it is very, very real rounded. So if you like Goldfield and Banks, please let me know down in the comments what other ones I need to try. But this one right here, I have Sunset Hour. It is beautiful. Last but certainly not least, this is by Goldfield and Banks and it is Silky Woods. I had a hard time at one point getting my hand on it because I saw that it kept getting sold out. Um, I think I was on Oh, I don't know what website. I don't remember what website it was on, but it was sold out for a while. And I was like, this one must be off the chain because if you like um, the the vanilla type fragrances, those gourmand type fragrances, anytime you see some gourmand with some vanilla in it, you know, I'm probably going to try it. So when I saw that it was sold out a lot, I was like, OK, I'm going to probably love this one. Now, let me tell you about this one. This one is definitely unisex. You've got uh, saffron at the top. You have cinnamon at the top. You have suede. There's oud. There's Madagascar, Elaine, Elaine. There's jasmine, vanilla. Um, there's this Australian sandalwood, tobacco leaf, musk. I mean, that tobacco leaf really, really shines through. When it does um, kind of settle down, it'll put you in the mind of, if you have it, It'll put you in the mind of that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to find it. Let me find it real quick. It will. It'll put you in the mind of vanilla woods. Now on me, vanilla woods does not last real good. It doesn't last real long, but with this one, I can tell that I'll get more hours of it. But when it dries down, you can definitely smell that vanilla, uh, tobacco type, uh, aroma or that cooked vanilla kind of charred. It's very nice. This one would be good for, uh, unisex men, women, it doesn't matter. Um, and I can tell, 
I can tell that this one will last a lot longer than uh, this one does. Of course, I do like the vanilla woods. I like to wear it. It just doesn't last enough on me. So if I don't have time, um, if I'm going to work or something like this, I barely rare. I very, very rarely will pull for this one because it just doesn't last on me. I would have to reapply, reapply, reapply. I don't have time for that. OK, so for me, I just want a fragrance to last and I would definitely definitely probably pull for this one a little bit quicker than I would for the vanilla woods. Um, they're not the same. They're not the same, but that tobacco type scent uh, just kind of reminded me of each other. And I, I, I would kind of put those together. So I like I like this one. I do like this one. This is full bottle worthy. Um, if you don't want to spend the coin on this one, it's not as it's not as expensive as you think. But if you don't want to spend the coin on this one, I would go ahead and get the vanilla woods. OK, but if you're looking for something to last. Get the gold filled in banks. This is Silky Woods. It smells really good. Well, that's all that I have for, for you today. That was like 17 different fragrances that I hadn't been able to smell before. And I'm really glad that I got a chance to try them. Some of them I will definitely be reaching for. I will definitely be purchasing a full bottle. And some of them, they will be in the trash can before this video is edited and posted. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments what you'll be using, what you'll be trying, uh, fragrances that you may already have if you have some of them. Okay. Also make sure that you thumbs up this video that really pushes my videos through as well as subscribe and then hit the bell to be notified anytime I have an upload. How will you know that I've uploaded a video if you don't hit the bell? Please make sure that you hit the bell and I look forward to seeing you all in another video. Bye.